Hello guys, I'm back with another new tutorial and today, I'm going to show you how to make this animated timeline slide in just PowerPoint. The detail of this animations are interesting, so just don't miss it out and watch this video to the end. This slide timeline animation template download link, is available for free at this video description. Let's start work on it. already taken a plank slide, click on your mouse right button, and from the list there choose format background and change the background color to this color. Go to home and pick up a line shape, holding the shift key drag it over here, and it will be a straight line. Now click at your mouse right button and from the list there choose format shape, now change the line width to two point, and change the color to this dark white color. Now from home list pick up an arc shape and draw it down there, from shapes format click on the width to increase it up to two point, then change the color to this dark white color. Now from shape format increase the height and the width of the shapes to be 1.3. Now rotate it 90 degree and move these yellow dots and place it in this place. Now duplicate the arc shape by pressing Ctrl and letter D, place above the previous arc and rotate 180 degree. Now move this yellow dot and place it in here to complete the next quarter of the circle. Now duplicate the line we have created earlier using Ctrl and D button, and from shape format rotate the shape 90 degrees and place in there, and then increase the height of line to match 1 inch. From home we will insert a hollow circle. From the format shape we will remove the line and fill with this dark white color. Use the yellow dots to make it a thinner one. Now select this hollow circle make a duplicate of it then place it over here. Holding Ctrl and Shift make it a smaller one. Select the straight line make duplicate of it and place here. Just need to resize it from the right side and increase its length up to 1.3 inch. Now we will insert an arch shape from home and draw it down there, using this yellow dot complete the circle. Make the height and width equal to 1 inch. From shapes format click on the width to increase it up to 2 point, then change the color to this dark white color. Now take the new arch and place it in there. Go home we will insert an oval shape, by holding shift and drag our mouse we will draw a small circle. From shape format make the height and the width equal to 0.2 inch and then place down there. Now from shape format choose no line and change the fill color to this darker blue. Now change the internal hollow circle to dark blue as well. After that we need to select this straight line make duplicate of it, from right side change the size and from format shape change its color to this dark blue. Now from insert list, insert a text box and change the font type to Century Gothic. Type the year 2007 in there. Increase the size to 28 and change the color to dark blue. Again, we will insert a new text box to add your own points. Increase the size to 12, change the font type to Century Gothic, then change the color to darker white and place it here. Now insert an oval shape. Hold shift and drag our mouse we will draw a small circle here. From shape format make the height and the width equal to 1 inch and then place down there. Change the color to dark blue and choose no line. To save time, we will start copy and paste our shapes for the next part of our presentation. So the select the arc shapes and copy it by holding Ctrl and shift drag it here. Then from format shape rotate the arcs vertically. Repeat the same steps for this line and place it here. Now select all the shapes here and the texts and duplicate it by holding Ctrl and move it up here. At last, select this arc shape and rotate it here. Hold Shift and Ctrl and copy the circle and place it here. At last copy this line and place it here. Now copy this circle and change its radiance to 0.1 inch and place it here. Copy it again and place it here. Now since we will repeat the same shapes at our next part, we will copy the same parts with its animations. So adding animations to those shapes now will save us time when we duplicate those shapes. So let's start adding our animations. The first thing to do is go to animation, and then click on animation pane to look over our animation status. Then select this straight line go to animation click on add animation, and select wipe and from select options select from left and keep to start on click. Then select the first arc shape, and click on add animation and select wipe, and from select options select from left, and then choose to start after previous. Again, select the second arc shape, and click on add animation and select wipe, 
and from select options select from above, and then choose to start after previous. Select the line here, and click on add animation select wipe, and from select options select from above, and then choose to start after previous. Select the oval shape here, and from animation choose zoom, and choose to start after previous. Now select the small circle again, and from animation choose custom path, draw our circle path as possible to be in line with our drawn lines here. Keep it to start with previous. Next select the small oval shape here, and from animation choose zoom, and to start after previous. Select the hollow circle here, and from animation choose zoom, and to start after previous. Again select the second hollow circle here, and from animation choose zoom, and to start after previous. Finally choose the arc shape and from animation choose zoom, and to start with previous. Now select the text here, and choose float in animation and from effect options, choose to float up, and from here to start after previous. Next select the other text here, and choose float in animation, from effect options choose float down, and to start with previous. Now select this straight line, go to animation select wipe, and from select options select from left, and then choose after previous. For the next part, we will repeat the same animations, so to save your time guys I will skip this part and prepare by myself. And now after finish all animations, we are ready to copy those part and paste next along with all animations and properties. Now select all the shapes by pressing Ctrl and letter A, and by holding Shift we will place the duplicated shapes it in here. So we notice that PowerPoint have copied all animations along with the shapes and saved our time. Now remove the small line here, the only animation we need to delete and do it again is this circle custom animation line as the location have already changes. Now move the small circle in there. Now we will draw our new custom line for the small circle. I will add another effect the small circle by adding the zoom effect from add animation. Change it to start with previous. Now we need to concentrate at the following part. Now we need to place our new animations in place at the animation pane, so we will move it to start after the straight line animation over here. For the last part of our presentation, I will copy this part here, and by holding on control and shift buttons I will place it in there. and modify the line here, and make it smaller. Finally our shapes and animation are ready. Now we need to have some variation, so we will change the text and colors of some circles by adding the numbers here and change the years there and change the color of those circles one by one. Now I will choose all the oval shapes at this part and fill it with the same color. Select the straight line and change it to the same color. Next select the text here and change it color font. Like this way we will change the color one by one. So to save your time I'm just skipping this part. After changing all the color we will have something like this. Now select all shapes by pressing Ctrl and letter A, shift the whole shapes little down there, so we will be able to insert a text box and add our title up there. After typing go to Arrange and choose a line Center. You're done. And we can put our presentation in action. From our status slide sheet you can see that whole animation is working perfectly. This slide timeline animation template download link is available for free at this video description. Thanks a lot for watching. Wish this video was useful for you. See you in new videos.